team I felt could take those maps, but I was pretty convinced that whoever stole the first map pick was gonna was gonna grab it. Now Anubis could have come up earlier in the veto, so expecting at least a high level finish here for both squads. Ooh, floppy Berettas get the one. Two sets of Berettas back to back. Oh, 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 the rate of fire is fast. Grim just turning it upside down, getting man advantage for complexity here. Boros of two minds wants to help his teammate, but decides not to, and it's a mm. great choice. Goes for the duels down the river instead and sends their corpses sailing. Halzerk answers, and we saw great clutches from him. From overpass to ancient. Another one queued up early, but Madden makes the difference. Falcons, T-side, pistol in the bag. Yeah, and you can see he's trying to, I think he's just trying to stay as focused as possible, where like really just be in his element, not get rocked. And uh, he played so well on overpass, hoping for some more good action from him. But those are two very key kills from Boros, who, again, he's been the shining light, I think, for for, for Team Falcons. Like, not even, even, not even in an underrated sense. Just a, overall, he's been the best player uh, in the rounds that have mattered. Halzerk with some tag damage. Ooh, thought he could get the front runner tagged up as well, but Snappy just glazing by with the Mac 10. That's going to elicit an answer here on Long A. Magisk with his ear against the wall. Here's the rumblings of complexity. Or just gonna smoke it off and leave Floppy alone. Grim is stuck on the pillar, or he got two kills last round off Beretta's. He's really good with fights like that. Oh, but he loses JT. Ooh, gets What's this. happened there? That's through the smoke. He has to try to fight out. Yeah, that's actually, ooh, good Let's... find from Boros once again. Yeah, maybe he jump spotted both times. Elise will respond back. Last CT's position known, so Bomb can just sprint into the A site, no problem. Elise trying to chase Snappy here. That'll keep the round alive. Give him a chance. I believe there's a Galil there he can upgrade to. It's an AK, in fact, but certainly this clutch is too much to ask. Just the sheer amount of distance, sir. Yeah, we didn't get to see how Boros found JT through smoke, but if it was anything like how he killed Grim, a jump on the ledge over smoke maybe saw him. Boros unraveling that bomb site from the safety of Long. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about if he had seen him that easily or not. CT defenses for complexity you know, is just like alarming to be like they can just fall they can just falter so easily. It just feels like they're so flimsy sometimes and it's very frustrating to look at them like that, but it's hard to tell if the remedy is that like the individual level for each player is a problem or some of their setups are not complimentary enough where they can't instant trade at least some of the kills back. It feels like they never have a position to trade anything. They just, they lose a player, then they lose another, then lose another. It's like, I'm more confident and excited for the complexity T sides. The CT sides, I'm like more worried, I guess, than I am excited. Just still feels like sometimes it lacks a certain cohesion between pieces. Like. Just because we saw them play against Falcons yesterday, compared to like even Rebels on a CT side versus Falcons, felt like there was more composure within defenders. Felt like where there was one, there was more. Constantly, 2VXs. Halzerk, 5-7. Oh, there's a gift. Oh, oh. oh two my. kills off the pistol. Yo. That was a real chance at a third one. That's great damage from Halzerk. He's been great for complexity. Sets up the rest of the pack to maybe pull this off. What a crazy round it would be. Alige has an armored AK and is yet to get into the mix. He is over here towards the A site where the bomb looked to get going until Smoke met them on camera. Madden killing Grim in mid opens the flank back to B. And Alige feels as though he's got to get something done. So he'll sprint towards long. Gun put away. And that's going to be one and two for Snappy. Mm. Well, it gets interesting, obviously, because Halzerk literally makes it a 3v5 uh, for one second. But it's... It's a little pyrrhic, like they get the 4v5 right away, or 4v3, I should say. But that, I think this is another good example of like, they have that, but then it just disappears because Hauser gets his kills, they trade him back, and then what happens? Through a main, we have a push in, Snappy finds his pickoff, leaves, gets out of there, then all of a sudden it's chill. They have some information back, they found like a straggler. No one can get tight 
No one can get into trading spots, and no one was even with Halzerk in that spot in mid to double down on the damage. Yeah, that's the part I found crazy, because it's not even like they were over in long A either. They were like floating exactly. around camera. You're by camera slash bricks on A site. Exactly. But you're not even helping mid. It could be just too narrow of a game plan. They're waiting for one exact play. Mm. It doesn't come. And then it looks silly because they had some regular default they would have covered more options. So it's really, I feel like it's very hard to put my finger personally on what's wrong fundamentally with some of Cole's CT setups, but. But obviously it's not enough. They found an opening here on Dark that they want to try to exploit, pushing the river. Floppy spam back through smoke. Oh, Madden, that headshot on Halzerk is gross. Grim, though, element of surprise, slides in, double kill, bridge control. That's what makes the difference. If Halzerk hadn't lost his head, these players don't get to trade that. Maybe Grim gets around the corner, runs to A. Elige. Instead, a Liege 1v2. Uh, Liege is looking for uh, a window, literally. He'll miss it so... Wait, hold on, are they going to come back? No, no, no. They're definitely going to go forward in an A. 30 seconds. Elise knows it. He's working with a smoke and a flash. It's a solo operation from Jonathan Jablonowski. Cross on Fountain. Oh, he wanted that pillar peek. And instead, Boros with the instant headshot. We've got to say it. Boros, three strong maps. Yeah, man. What was that? That was Madden. <laughs> <laughs> Someone stepped on his foot. Sounded like a chew toy. Nice two kills from Grim. There's that trade frag back from Boros. Yeah, Boros has just been everywhere all the time across the series. Yeah. 19 frags on Overpass, 18 kills on Ancient, 37 and 29 coming into map three, and again, just hot off the press. So, and so consistently headshotting, man. Crazy aim on him. You know, because there's a question around this formula for Falcons, right? If we just chalk up Magisk to be an improvement over Diha, then Boros has to compete with Nerds. And to outperform Nerds seems like a tall order. And he wasn't matching up. But this is a glimpse of what could be. Shotgun and an MP9 here for complexity. Bunch of targets. Wow, they chewed through the first two. Halzerk's 5-7, consistent. Shotgun, not so much. The buckshot betrays him. And as Madden turns back to flank with Bomb, a smoke ahead of Grim. If he holds it, Grim may run the risk. He's just hoping it's something different, but it's, it's not. It's going to be that A plant. Grim now. There, there's really looking around for him. Oh, the swing out is quick, but Tobias is careful with it. You know, it's it's not that actually that Boros needs to be Nerds. Boros needs to be Nico. Jesus. Yeah, that, he's not replacing Nerds. He's replacing Nico. When uh, you're, you're talking about the the lineup sure, that came to Falcons, right? look at yeah, what, yeah. who Falcons were trying to get themselves. Okay, no, I like that. I like that. They were okay. Yeah, that's what that's. I'm thinking about the Ents team. You're thinking about Falcons' expectations. This was, we're watching Falcons, right? They tried to get Nico. Oh, you're right. And they couldn't get Nico, so they got Boros. That's the role he's filling. Everyone else is in a position, so there's pressure on him to not just be a very good star rifler, but to yeah. be the best player on the team, potentially right after some pies or whatever. Well, as far as Katowice is concerned, he's already better than Nico. Yeah, that's no joke. Chance to move it back into the water. 5v4. Looking good for complexity. Finally, a slight edge in one of these CT rounds. But it's not just a matter of earning it. It's a matter of holding on to it, too. We got enough utility across Falcons for the full-blown exec A site. Floppy loves a pillar play. Would love even more so to be set up by a teammate. But instead, he takes the dry duel, honestly, at the perfect moment. Oh, where's this He gets support. the second. Nobody there to help him. What is that? Still gets two. Believe it or not, on his own. Boros, his 10th kill of the map thus far. But he is surrounded. I guess they already had got their kills, so it was fine. Or the, the flank. 
Okay. Down he goes. What is it you wanted? Flash support. Uh, flash support. Floppy? Yeah, I was like, oh, he took his dry duel. That's really good. Like, yeah. when you get the dry duel early, it's amazing. Because you throw the flash in after, then you deny a trade or they run away, whatever. But, like, right here, minute up. Boom. Where's the. There's the. Yeah, there's a flash right after. They're, they're coming in from camera. Yep. But they didn't have one. They did. <laughs> Maybe they forgot they had one. <laughs> But it's like a communication thing, like where. But it might have been that there were, they already got kills. I, I didn't actually see what happened right there. Floppy happened. Yeah. Complexity post their first. No. Nice nade. Elige traded immediately. Boros is dead. That's a good sign for Cole. Molly in front of the rest of them. Mac ten, Tech nine, three smokes. And plenty of time to reset this pack of players anywhere across the map. Ooh, there's a nice upgrade. Chucking the SMG away. So they're going to go double smoke exec. We've got a doubling of E-Box here for complexity. Op posted, and Halzerk's been good, and they'll cool it off. And that was the exec that Falcons had to work with. So oh, Flash through, comes through. through. Madden's in. Oh, oh. Madden's, Madden's real. Anyway, he goes under the scope. Under the scope. He's got Holzerk. Matt just kills Grim. They oh, clear it. What? They clear the entire site. Oh, my God. In the blink of an eye, Madden manages to get past. And because there's a player on the pillar jiggling the side, Madden just slips through. Wow. That's the second time this series did on Ancient. Walk through. Cave that round. Got the flank off. Shades of that. That's a that's a good play, but damn, that blind spot from Complexity was so small, and that timing that he got out, they didn't even know he got out. It was so slight, and that worked out for Falcons. That is devastating. A three versus four, right when Complexity pick up their first round win. Man, what a move. Imagine the X-Factor yep. play. Yes, sir. Off to a phenomenal start. Just simply not dying, six and one. Nice! <laughs> yep, what? <laughs> Just Sonic's delayed yelling in his ear. Oh, oh, yeah. Very, very well deserved hype because Madden, that is. Sometimes I'm like. Just gross. Yeah, that's. that's... Oh, man. We're back into an overpass situation of like, get enough rounds on CT. Anubis to talk about T side. Cause it's gonna be a comeback. Not having their best day right now. Even though we have seen spots of brilliance here from complexity, some improvements on what we've seen throughout the tournament, which is good. Some good things, some good things. But man, complexity just a tough December, tough January. Might not make it through Feb. Extra gun. Holzer's got a scout. Oh, sorry. This is T side. <laughs> Snappy <laughs> playing Mac 10. <laughs> yeah, like what spawn are we in? Who left that there? Snappy wants a Mac 10 over an M4. They were gonna use him to rush, surely. The jackknife that is. Uh oh. I think oh. the op is. Oh, I don't know about the op in this position. Snappy's in. This is why he's got it. Oh, it's just a scout. Boros. He's going to get the headshot. Snappy just tearing through for control of the site, causing pandemonium. It's Bedlam and B. A liege in E box flashed out of his angle. Molotov smoke. Huge gap on that, though. <laughs> Massive. Nothing he can do to stop the plant unless he takes the risk of running out. He'll do so. Quick kill to Magis. Nice dink on Madden. What? No scope through the wall from Halzerg. Okay. And we're into the 2v2 here. Temple and Long is what they'll have to play with. But the flank from Sun Pius. Ooh, dirty. That should very well end it. The scout is desperate. Oh, he didn't pull the trigger. Now he's tagged down low. Two kills for Halzerg trying to hang on to the bomb site. He did his damnedest as his teammates fell all around him. 
He's going to elicit the push out, but the Glock's enough to end him. Seven to one. Snappy just running through that site, dodging bullets. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I mean, that was uh, just basically an anti force here for Falcons. Great execution overall. Um, yeah, all the trades come into place. The Halsrick shot was pretty crazy. Just trying to collect the icons. Essentially, is there any way back into this game at all for complexity? I think so, but it's, uh, you know, we're getting we're into requiring the pistol, maybe even requiring an eco round to be won. Let's see if they can do it. They got a good stack. Nice. Oh, they got a great stack. You know, we saw Falcons die to something like that from Rebels wow. yesterday. Wow, four in the kill feed at once. Finally, an answer back. That's right. The exact same the position. Rebels. Although Rebels had Flay on an AWP, this is even less for complexity. You said, is there a way back in? This will help. Yeah. It's not enough, but it helps. require a Madden master class. Now, none of them have helmets, but they all have Kevlar. Well, it is a Super Bowl this weekend. Come on, Madden, go for it. Let's see how many yards we can get. First one's easy. Oh. Nice answer out of complexity. Swarming when he shows skin. First down. Hut, hut. What do you watch, the cross? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm liking like European sports. <laughs> you know, like uh, long ski jump, cycling. Yeah, Europeans love watching exercising is what I've noticed. <laughs> yeah, they're not even sports. <laughs> Things like contact is very barbaric in sports. Then there's the Swedes. At least they play ice hockey. True. The yeah, Finns, yeah, yeah. The Finns can get down. Oh, yeah. Let's go. So we love the yeah, Finns, baby. It's them Vikings up north, I tell you. We went to a Jokerit game. Remember that? Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. What happened to the Danes? It's like all, you know. Yeah, they're, they're good at sports, but they play like handball. Yeah, and they got so soft. About what? At what? Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> compare them to Norwegians, compare yeah. them to, to Finns and Swedes. I'm just, I don't know what happened. Yeah. What happened? Joe and the Juice happened. Esports. Yeah. <laughs> All the points of Counter Strike. Uh, a couple of Danes in the server right now thriving, so maybe I'll shut up. Sonic and Snappy calling a good T side. Halzerk, though, gonna open nice up. Nice one, nice one, man. Matt just feels it. This is what complexity needs, right? From the pistol round into a 5v4. And you've got the economy broken. It's not too late. Leave it to Cole to make their job harder than it has to be. That is so real. That is so, so real. And you're right. It is not too late. And the double op setup is a statement that this is a real final stand economically to try to create momentum, win multiple rounds in a row. Make this comeback happen all at once, and it starts off with a 5v4. Chance at it. It's a tease approach E-Box, quietly shrouded. Quick pedal to the metal moment. Snappy not getting through for free this time. Teammates on the pillar, though, they've got the response, and they know they've got Grim pinned into this corner. God forbid he's on his own until Halzer comes in. Oh. He gets flushed out by the Molotov, and that man advantage gone. Madden deep. Ebox flanked. Held by Floppy. He's just going to go quiet. That op reloads over towards the tunnel. It is in the hands of Elyse and Halzer. Double op retake. Woo! Necessary shot out of Elyse. Boros tries to get off of the platform. Madden's cautious of the E-Box peak. Floppy's made sound. But these two operas, they are completely smoked off. It is going to be a tough job. Luckily for them, it's a missed shot from oh. Boros. 
Oh. And in they go. Kit indeed. Floppy with the defuse. Complexity a third. Uh, Floppy was a main resource right there to draw all the attention. Even if he gets a kill or not, they have a chance of getting through the smoke with his uh, presence. So he was very careful about it. Played that spot very well. And they coordinated the jump in perfectly. So nicely done for Complexity. This is almost pretty bad after um, JT spray right on the right side of default. It's four players all coming out of the same choke point and they only get that first kill. So nearly ended in tragedy, but it's totally saved. They get even enough, even having the ability to pick up both ops is huge for the economy here. But not only that, they live with three. Bad buy for the Falcons. It was a cool play that they tried to do with not the best guns ever last round. There's definitely a chance they can still pull something out. Yeah, Complexity started winning rounds exactly when they had to, right? The economy of Falcons, they're coming in again with everything they can afford. Remember, though, two ops means less retakes. So these rounds are even scarier in some ways. Full-blown exec inbound. Floppy going to be exposed, tries to get into the corner here. He'll spray down the one Galil. That was the one rifle they had, but the SMG's still fine too. Halzerk inside of smoke. He's got support coming out from camera. Tech Nines over top, and Alish plucking him from the sky. They've stalled out. Grim's flanked. Down okay. go Falcons. Wow, that's uh, two kills from the Mac 10s entering the site, and you think, all right, well, that really exposes the weaknesses of the two ops. Whatever train lines they have versus a full exec, it's going to get scary, and uh, yet still. Uh, complexity stands strong, so now they're up to four. And they can maybe start to sit up a little bit more straight because... Oh! Aliege can opt, that's why. <laughs> Haven't seen him try it too often, but it's looked good in a few rounds so far. Third consecutive four spy. Fourth consecutive round win, perhaps. Aliege peaks deep. Dies out to Magisk, whose head just pops over the ledge. Luckily, JT maintains man advantage by going into the E-Box. And Holzerk, he'll escape middle, never caught by Sun Pius. Holy. Things looking up at the end of the half here. Better late than never for complexity. Falcons, Falcons can still totally be proud of having seven rounds, but... I think they're hungry for a statement at the end. Oh, that wide swing. Oh. Snappy just throws caution to the wind. Grim eats two flashes, dinked down to 10. He gets his damage back out on Magisk. Molly, Smoke, Nade, and Push. They're going to tear it up towards Snappy, closing that gap really quick. But look at this reposition. Where the hell is Magisk going? He's going to have to go all the way around, wrap it back, and hope the CTs don't kill Snappy in the meantime, which he has pulled off. Wow. So they're going to be convinced for sure that somebody's sitting long. But at the same time, Bomb's not planted for him. Snappy goes down, and they hold off on E-Box. It's a retake for Complexity, and it is a mandatory four-round streak to close out this half all by way of that pistol force buy.
just when it felt like Falcons had complexity dead in the water, a resurgence from the North Americans. Four rounds in a row to close out that CT side. Four rounds that they absolutely needed. We're talking about a complexity core that was here last year on the brink of stepping onto the Spodek. A year that came with highs and lows, and a year now in 2024 that has started with nothing but struggles. But a chance, one last time, on the T side of Anubis to keep the dream alive. On the Brink might be the name of the complexity documentary at this point, because that's literally, the, that wasn't just Cato. That was so many events, RMRs, major qualifiers, everything for complexity until this point. They actually have had that, they haven't found that big success. That's what they're looking for. So didn't close out that tournament that they were looking for as well in that winter season when things were looking so good. So... We'll see for complexity. Falcons, you know, they're a latent team, but still massive expectations as well. And an overall pretty good start, but the T side pistol looks like it might go the way of Cole. Could. Grim manages to get a kill in the mix. It's been him and Halzerk dragging the rest of the team, kicking and screaming through those last few rounds. Magisk continuing the retake attempt, but he loses a teammate on the approach, missing some shots. Sun Pius finds his. Magisk to the 1v3, double players on the long setup. It's a strong post plant after a strong opening and complexity. I mean, this lead that Falcons once had has evaporated. It was seven to one, right? Yes. So seven to one. And good ideas. The, C the CT improvements. It was like literally what I was what I was really wanting. You know, like my wish list on that CT side was like be able to trade together, like go for pick plays. They used the op, the double op setup. That was a very nice adjustment, and a lot of clutch maneuvers in the middle of all of that. I mean, they they really did save each other in a way that I think they were missing in um in overpass on their ct side then so does it mean it's over absolutely not falcons can still 100 percent close this game out this one is razor razor thin in terms of margins for both teams schrodinger's cat is everywhere at the moment in terms of what can happen very open middle Falcons banking on Madden to do something here. Deagle in hand. They go for the long B peak just to see it empty. Madden loses his line of sight, and Madge is suddenly going to feel desperate here. But maybe this, that smoke grenade stalls things out long enough because great they went for the peak on long. Look at Boros, man. Huge flank. He started to foam at the mouth at the moment. And we saw this happen. Oh! Pass, but luckily, Grim holds on for the flank. And now Complexity are going to feel as though they have been found out. They're on high alert. They don't need to be too scared, though. Like, if they are, they actually will lose them in the game. They need to stay closer together. They know there's pistols ahead. Oof. Halzerk's going to take it down to the bomb site with the double kill off the SMG. Sun Pius, his scout, and USP gets two off of the play. But sure enough, it's a trade train down into the A plant. It's floppy to hold off on flank. And it's complexity to have closed that gap entirely from 1-7 to 7-all. Yeah, and I've been like looking at Halzerk's cam for this, this series. He's clearly just gotten into stoicism yesterday, it feels like, because suddenly he's just been very, very calm. He's on that Marcus Aurelius pipeline at the moment, like trying to keep it all in, be a master of his emotions. And it, I think it's actually been working. He's had some higher moments. He has actually hit most of his easier shots. Ooh, some pious little fierce burst of rage right there. But... Uh, I would be very happy for Halzerk. I think today ended up better. <laughs> There's more where that one came from. <laughs> JT and Grim. <laughs> yeah, I gotta sit them on their ass real quick that time. Okay. Easy anti eco. It was seven to one to eight seven here for complexity. A few smiles starting to crack on the complexity camp. Is that very quickly wiped off their faces because they know it's only once they get in the lead that they can lose it. Exactly. That's true. And knowing complexity they can lose it. Yeah, it's very cute to be the team that can always come back, but it isn't when uh, you need to actually win the game. So... Okay. Ooh. 
Oh, good return though. Elige cracking open the mid smoke, finds Madden sitting on the other side with his pants down. Where was Sun Pius's? Oh, I see. It was up in A main. Yeah, and see, they rush to take a space right after because they know that he rotates way out every time. Meanwhile. Wait, was that some Pius over on B? Was that where he did? I think he peaked E box. Snappy gets the dink but doesn't get the kill. And they just pretend like it didn't happen. Oros comes over. Couple players behind the obelisk. Halzerk preparing for the split. Snappy leaning forward into the pillar, wants to go and clear out the E box. Him and Halzerk, matter of timing on this one. There's there's an angle here that Rain uses that's just so perfect. I think he's on it right now. If Halzerk goes down to Snappy, then suddenly the defense looks better. Oh, and he gets it, sliding out wide. Cut punch with the A4, Boros clean. Ooh. Two kills from the back plat. Complexity hit the ground. The moment they get a lead, they lose it. Wow. Pius opens up with an op kill somewhere and then closes out against the liege as well. That was nice. It was getting bleak all of a sudden for Falcons and then everybody steps up to the challenge. So nice for the opera to open things up, Sun Pius. Yeah, it was uh, the E-Box peak. Yeah, okay. That was good. Man, watching Boros, I swear, it's just like calligraphy with his M4 work. It's just so nice on, on rifles. Beautiful to watch, to be honest. Another big one for him. And a hard split stopped for complexity. That was definitely a good setup they had for that attack. They instantly put Halzerk onto the ramp. Chance to duel Sun Pai as he hopes, but that nade actually comes to the entrance of B. Look at look at the hefty damage from Grim. Half a Boros, half a Sun Pius. All in a $300 nade. And if they tenderize that B site before coming through with what could be in an instant a split, Snappy better keep it on his toes. We've got a heavy mid-presence here from Falcons. Three players layering on bridge. Molotov from Snappy forces him to back up slightly. Falcons just hanging out by the door, playing counter flash, expecting something to come across that bridge from the T side. Right now, everybody's setting their eyes into B and Snappy's about to have his hands full. Support is non-existent. He goes for some spam on smoke. There is nobody here to help. They're going to try to dive down off bridge into e box. Quick on the heels of complexity, but Floppy holds off against Madden. Boros slides out. Health advantage. Bomb planted. And as Elise gets back on 30 health, I can hear him moving. CTs call it quits. Falcons out. Yeah, they're gone. That's uh, now it gets scary for them. They got to save these guns. But now they're running out of rounds. That's a good attack from Complexity. They try it one more time a little bit better this time, says JT. And they lay it down. There is no play from the CT to get aggressive. They played a little more vanilla. And this sort of exposes, I think, like how many plays they actually have as a new team to to make things happen. They, they do have the ends core. So they do have some stuff that they can do, but... And we have seen sometimes that they, they keep those players together on sites in each map. But uh, that was all the defense had. Literally that Elige 10 bullet burst through smoke clears it. Bridge players set up, but not fast enough, not sharp enough to get the better of Floppy in the E-Box. You just know whoever whoever comes out of this is going to play way better tomorrow. You can only hope. I think these two are both basically wet knives for each other. Wet stones, excuse me, to sharpen each other up. He's got Boros to defend with him this time. Making 
good sound outside of the site. They elicit the utility. The CPs are going to get, yeah, they're going to get punished for that. And he just uh -oh. peeks in. Takes a step out too far, exposes himself to Long, and the offer pulls him off. What's even the chemistry here on the CT side for, for the Falcons? There, there's just Boro sitting in the same position to start out. Shoulder peaking that angle. This setup would work around, you know, 30 seconds, but Complexity have shown they know what to do with the space. And it's the scariest time to do it, but Falcons need to find out what's open, because if they don't take anything right now, it's going to get used against them. Taking a glance down the river, but even if you do decide to push this, the timing could just be too late. You've got to get to the corner of that wall and hope that Complexity doesn't go fast into A. If they start the split, they've already gotten into main. Snappy, he's at the tail end of this flank. Maybe he gets the opera. Maybe he drops bomb. Oh, there's a. Oh, he has he to shoots. drop into the water. Snappy, the elevation change screws him over, and now all of a sudden, Falcons have nothing, nothing. in this round. Yeah, there was, that was the only thing they had going. They were lucky to even have that. That's uh, a complexity. We're readying up a split on the other side of the map. The Falcons found the right CT aggro to take, right? I mean, dropping the bomb there would have been cute, but it still would have fallen forward. It would have been hard for Snappy to camp it. None of his teammates got kills. They couldn't use with the information that it was going to be this A split coming in. Uh, they, they couldn't use that information and set up accordingly. And they most importantly didn't hit their shots. Complexity, best round so far. Thorough with conviction. No hesitation. No hesitation, yeah. That, that, that to me, once Complexity started crossing bridge and moving through river, I didn't see them stop at all. That was, that was walk key held and moving forward the entire time. That slow squeeze. And this mistake by Boros to take that step to expose to long. Yeah. Looks like uh, nine out of the last ten rounds won from Complexity. Unreal. And, uh, you know, going out of the tournament's one thing. Going out in this fashion, oof. Back-breaking. Falcons, no timeouts remaining. Sonic says, let's go, boys. Now or never. But leave it to complexity to lose momentum. Uh, they should be lucid about the fact that the money is here. Is limited. Probably buying, they probably know. This is such a big opportunity. Snappy has found a way to make do uh, when they've lost a player, but their opening setups have been pretty frail. I think the CTs have left some gaps. If they tighten this, tighten this up and bring us down to like the 40-second mark without dying, I'm, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if you can find that move to make something happen here for the CTs, but... A press oh. with op. With the op Grim. above. Oh, snaps over. Shots missed. Grim knows. Can't really afford to cross out. Oh, man. Tries to go for the peak and just gives himself over. Luckily for though. complexity. There's the answer back. They've got one stuck. Oh, they Floppy got finds through. the entry. A site is open and complexity. Uh -oh. Grim keeps two sets of hands busy on B. Even though he dies, his entire team gets their entries elsewhere. Snappy's desperate. Tries to run at this from Bricks. All this team corralled on site. He's got them against the wall. And as he dives back, he's hoping someone else comes in to help. Snappy frantically trying to press both sides. They want to fight so bad. Flashbangs over the top. Hulls are blocked in on the fountain. Looks to hold off. And down he goes. Boros, it's clean. Trying to make up for the last round. Sun Pius comes out. What? And he nails that off shot. Oh my god, they actually Falcons won. Falcons finally answer. They actually won that. They threw everything everything that they could and the kitchen sink over that wall and just ran at it and said we need to figure this out now complexity got to be so tilted they literally had the perfect setup into that site but honestly that, that, uh, that ferocity from falcons right there has to be credited like it was snappy good for them just make it happen they, yeah they but look at the way he just scares them all into this clump right they said don't let them them down from bricks doesn't let anybody get back on camera the one person who gets out long gets called back into the action wow. stuffed by the op up close holy that's a win i don't even know what to make of that man that is absolutely nuts if that level of pressure doesn't indicate snappy i don't know what does so, 
thriving in the carnage. Falcons respond. It's a lifeline. Yeah, it's a lifeline. That, that's no sustainable victory. That's just what they need to get back on their feet. That's a loan. It's a heartbeat. Matt just turns. Oh, oh double! What? Oh, the clothesline out of Magisk, oh, walking through A, and now it's 3v5. Some Pius feels like he's got blood in the water, tries to press a little deeper. A liege getting closer, shot right to the hip, down he goes, no answer. Halzerk will find a one. It's a 2v5 queued up between Halzerk and Grimm. It's a massive ask, or it's Falcons to tie this game at 10. Yeah, right. Leave it to complexity to lose momentum. I always like to make a meal of it. A flash and a molly. Grim just silently creeps across jail. Snappy along the wall. He looks away. Grim sprays. And at least Holzerk's able to trade. It's a bomb plant at the very least. And the CT's far enough that he's going to come up op in hand. Holzerk. Oh, a second. This is for your Hollywood reel, Halzerk. Already seen it. A 1v3 back on overpass. This man's flow is unquestionable, and as he creeps around the corner, oh. he gets caught. Magis, the man of the hour, oh. the man of round 20, oh. gets three. He was right there. He was so close to getting away. And Magis steals that. They get 10. And we're going to get the firework finish now. Whatever the hell happens. What an insane last few rounds. And Complexity have done a... Great job of getting back into this game. But of course, Falcons know what to do with a good amount of data. They've got champions on their team. They're not going to let this be easy. And they certainly weren't going to let it end on another 1v3 out of Halzerk again. He refuses to go down without impact. 20 kills on the map. Complexity still have the advantage with Liege so much better inside a middle and really showing Falcon, uh, exposing Falcons for never playing in here. And this is something they don't do in their other games as well. An op duel. It's an op duel. Oh, they both land their shots. Yes, but H H Sun Pius goes up top. It's just a leg, shit, leg hit for him. And with that, Sun Pius puts Halzerk on ice in a series Sun Pius had to perform. They're going to walk this back, and despite the success of complexity inside of the A site, they have never had to deal with three defenders in there. But they then pulling one off by shuffling Sun Pius back to CT spawn on this little 10 HP he has. There's going to be another moment for Magus. We saw two kills on the smoke push, one round to go. When that fades, he's got two heads on display, and it's too much to ask of him to get them both. Now suddenly Madden's going to be pressured. Alige dies out in middle. Sun Pius with more impact, oh. and Madden a solid hold. Floppy two kills, the only player here for complexity to get anything going in round 21. Flash is over, peeks wide, he's got him against the wall, but Snappy makes the difference, and Falcon's in the lead yet again. Oh my god, they got back in the lead. That's so ridiculous. That Sun Pius duel right in the beginning, the leg shot because he goes up top. Poor Hauser hits the flick on a sliver of an angle, but this is the right play. And yeah, that's now the emotions coming out, and I completely understand at this point, listen, we're in the fourth quarter. Could be the, the entire tournament on the line here. He barely couldn't get away in that 1v3. Loses the opening kill in the next round. No money for complexity to defend against tournament point here for them. Magisk helps, stole it, helps steal it away. Sun Pius helps steal it away. Snappy helps steal it away. Big one for Sun Pius, not only opening up with the op duel, but circling back from CT, getting into mid. We've been saying that, of course, middle has been left so open for a liege, and a liege versus an opper on 10 health gets clipped right before he comes down camera. Right before he has a chance to add himself to that A play. Sun Pius with a crucial double kill. Sun Pius with a mandatory uptick in performance in this best of three. 
Little light buy out of complexity, trying to throw a wrench in Falcon's works. Trying to stop them shy of the lower final in Group A. I heard him jump around with that flash outside of main. Oh, but they might run him down with these pistols. They're coming in fast. Oros on the back plats got the op to at least cool one off. Nothing. JT gets in with the SMG. Luckily, Madden had rotated over fast enough, but still, that's a portion of this bomb site that's no longer Falcons to be had. Ambitious wall banks off the mark. At the very least, bomb planted and complexity set themselves up for the future, but there's still a slight chance they could pull it over the line. Grim off of the jail, now has to get two more. He sees the shoulder, he lines him up, oh. but just by the skin of his teeth, Madden, four kills. It's another high pressure moment, but it's one that Falcons thrive in. Yeah, and it's Falcons on 12. They had to fight for this one, even though it's real ugly, and it comes down to one player. It's another clutch that still goes in their favor. They have done almost every single thing they need to do now, and they have a one-round buffer in case complexity's next buy still goes well. There's a huge chance for Falcons to finally take this. After a war of a series. Complexity running nine rounds out of ten in a streak. Suddenly in this game. After that 3v3 retake. Yes, sir. Over on the A site. That should have been the end. Should have. And now Sun Pius has come alive when it absolutely matters most. Hulzerk, his counterpart, oh. answers. Lays down the, the op, and a flash comes in. That's indicative of Boros behind the obelisk. Oh! oh! Just seeing a glimpse of it to take back man advantage. Boros makes sure no entry allowed. And with Halzerk on the wayside, it's Grim, Elige, and Floppy left to keep complexity in Katowice. They were looking to dispatch of the Falcons to get into that lower final in two consecutive years. Floppy. Oh, Great answer. That's two of three. He doesn't know about the third. Madden peaks, finds the trade, goes right back at long, and it's going to have to be a liege. He steps into complexity. They have an uptick in performance. He is a game changer, one of the best that NA has ever had, and a chance to clutch out. Instant headshot on Madden. No idea about Magisk, oh. and there it is, the end of complexity, and a chance for the Falcons to move on. Another, another heartbreak for complexity, but a fantastic comeback into the game for Falcons. It felt like a foregone conclusion in complexity. We're going to be able to close this out after their massive comeback on Anubis. But a